in three hours of today at a distant nest was first in the left homeless after being evicted from a government house belonging to the Ministry of Health and Social Services. Selma Makali was ordered to vacate the dwelling by the messenger of court under the watchful eyes of the Namibian police. Upon arrival, we found a group of men removing Selma Makali's belongings from the house. The eviction left her devastated and broken as she and her family had nowhere else to go. Amakali told NBC News that the eviction came as a huge surprise to her, claiming that she and other tenants were earlier assured by the ministry that only volunteer staff, doctors, nurses, radiographers and pharmacists would be accommodated in the dwellings in question. I cannot believe our government can do this to us. They send the police to come and remove these things. Hmm? Can the government do this to its people like this? And what I don't understand is only me. We all used to receive letters. Now it's only me to be evicted. Why? Don't understand. Similar exercises were carried out at the Venduk Central and Katutra Hospital nurses' homes, where several staff members were also evicted from the official accommodation. Engeliwe Unais, a resident of Venduk Central Hospital's Block D, is one of those who were ordered to care for immediate effect. When I came to my room for lunch, I found two policemen, two men and a lot of policemen in front of my room, giving me a letter and telling me to move out, to pack my things. So I started to pack, they helped me and move out my things and lock the door. Now I don't know where to go. That's what happened. And they were even here the yesterday already, but they didn't call me, they didn't let me know, and no notice, no nothing. I was just told to go out. In December, they, they said they will call us so we can go to court. So we were all waiting for that. But now, now they just came today out of nowhere telling me to get out. I didn't pack. My food is just outside there. Everything is lying around there. Salaries cannot. Efforts to obtain comment from the Ministry of Health and Social Services proved futile, as its public relations officer, Esther Paulus, refused to shed more light on the evictions, saying she still has to talk to the permanent secretary, Andrew Ndishishi.